I grew up in this small town of Kimball. Um, I'm the youngest of four daughters. I fit in for the most part, did the whole normal small town school stuff, was in every sport. My self-confidence was the, I think the first and foremost thing that really played a part in my life. The way that I looked at myself and the outer image that I had. Um, when I was about 13 years old is when I started sneaking cigarettes and then it turned into sneaking drinks. Took off from there with marijuana. I got into meth and I was an IV user for two years is all it took to completely wreck my life and take everything away from me. When I started using, I got into also dealing drugs to maintain the habit of using and we ended up, uh, at that time, our house got raided and went to jail from that. So my daughter was removed from my care um, and put into custody with the county for child protection services. And shortly after that, I found out that I was pregnant with my son. My daughter had said to me and to the social worker, please just stop making my mommy cry. That was my breaking moment. That is when I knew I needed to do something. I just didn't know how and I didn't know where. So I entered uh, inpatient treatment and I had a complete mental breakdown. I didn't know how to be honest. I didn't know how to ask for help and I told them that. And from that moment, so August 29th of 2016 is my clean date. Um, that's when I surrendered and started to rely on other people to guide me and support me because it wasn't working my way anymore and I had no idea what else to do. I was introduced to Domus um, while I was at the halfway house. I was just told it was a transitional house, my kids could live with me. Um, it was a long-term program that could help me save money, rebuild my life. To this day, still the best decision that I've made because I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I hadn't gone to Domus. I got custody back of my children in October of 2016, um, right after my son's first birthday. And my case was closed with the county. It's in about 2019, I decided to go back to school and I entered into a technical college, completed that program for my pre-social work degree, and then transitioned in 2022 to my bachelor program for social work at St. Scholastica. United Way gives the opportunity to people like myself struggling and not having much support or anyone to actually look at me like I'm a person or like I'm a mom and giving me the opportunity to get my life back together and it's hard work and it's emotional and it's hard, it's exhausting, but it's so worth it. My worst day clean is still better than my best day high. Thank you.